These grass-fed, mountain-grazing cows can't make Rolexes, of course, but they do produce a relatively pricey Swiss product whose global popularity has caused a counterfeiting problem, cheese. But cheesemaker Christophe Reyes is fighting back with bacteria. You need bacteria to make cheese, but these little drops have been genetically sequenced, making them into something like thousands of invisible and edible Swiss customs agents. For us, as producers, it's a, it's a good thing because such a lot copy it in the whole world, and with these bacteria, you can do a test to 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 go back to Switzerland to find the really original Swiss cheese and to guarantee to the consumer that he has the original Swiss Emmental. The way the Swiss cheese crackdown works is like this. A consumer overseas, often a Swiss tourist on vacation, will buy some cheese labeled as Swiss and think it doesn't quite taste just right. He or she will then contact the Swiss cheese marketing board, which will try to get a sample to test the DNA. In this government lab, the samples are crumbled, weighed, liquefied, and finally sequenced for their DNA to see if the cheese is really Swiss. Researchers have been working on the counterfeit catching concept for eight years. The bacterial culture is given only to Swiss cheese producers. And we also change the culture frequently so that each time there's a different genetic sequence. Changing cultures is easy. The lab stocks over a century's worth of different bacteria used to make Emmental, giving it almost unlimited means to catch possible counterfeiters. So far, the counterfeiters who have been caught have been let off with a warning, but they could face a major fine depending on the country. Swiss Emmental makes up 10% of global production, but it's the most famous, highly priced, and, many Swiss will argue, the tastiest. Thanks to bacteria and a little science, the Swiss hope to keep both that reputation and their market share. Nick Spicer, Al Jazeera, Bern, Switzerland.